Today is Independence Day 2023. Taking a break from working on one of my other cars to give you all a tour of this 1950 Ford F1 pickup that's been in my family for 23 years. Uh, those who grew up around me might recognize this truck. Uh, it belonged to a guy who was a referee like at Little League Baseball games and this is the truck he drove and it pretty much looked just like this but with a little less rust. My dad bought this in 2000. At the time he bought it because he needed a running flathead engine for another project. The truck ran and drove. The guy delivered it, drove it over when we bought it. Didn't have brakes anymore. And I think it's a combination of, it wasn't quite the flathead my dad needed, and the truck seemed a little too good to turn into parts. Yeah, you'll see some other trucks there in the background. We'll, we'll give a tour of each of those on another day. So there's some of the bad rust, weeds growing right through the running boards. I picked up a couple running boards at a swap meet that are in better shape that I plan to put on it. My idea for this truck isn't to restore it, but to get it running again and replace a few things like the running boards and fix the brakes and cruise around in it just like it is. I think there are enough people around my area that would still remember this truck and appreciate seeing it going down the road the same way they saw it when they were a kid. The guy who used to own this, he also had a collection of Corvairs. And in the back here are some Corvair axle shafts. When my dad bought the truck, the axle, sh axle shafts were stuck in the front stake pockets of the truck. And that's what he used for tie downs. Trying to get the door open. Try the other side. This has a flathead V8, a 239 flathead, and a three-speed standard transmission on the floor. Lots of colors on this truck. This cab was apparently originally yellow and then blue. The bed was blue, but I don't see any yellow paint under it, so... This 
see if I can get the hood open one-handed here. Okay. Hang on. Hood release is pretty cool on these. It's one of the uh, little bars in the hood is the lever. This, uh, I remember this truck had a coolant leak. I believe it's a, uh, a leaking water pump. And so the previous owner had this canteen hanging around the radiator for extra coolant. It was, I don't know, two, three years ago, I hauled this from my parents' house where it had been sitting since 2000. It had been driven to the spot where it was parked. Hasn't been started since. Once I brought it home, I did pull the plugs and put a little Marvel Mystery Oil in the cylinders and then rolled it over by hand a few times. And then, and then with the starter, with the plugs out to blow the oil out. One of these days, I'll do another video of trying to get it running. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Quillbilly Garage. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.